are three immutable forces that impact your ability to create an inclusive environment. The first one is the issue of dominance, and we'll talk about that in a minute. The second one is unconscious bias, which contrary to popular belief, is never going to go away. We can learn to catch it, but it's never going to go away completely. And the third one is what I call degrees of difference. A few years ago, in fact, probably more than 15 years ago, I was at Dallas-Fort Worth Airport getting ready to board a flight. And in these days, as you walked into the plane, you could turn to your left and look into the cockpit. And as I looked into the cockpit that evening, there was a woman sitting in the pilot seat. She smiled at me, I smiled at her, and I went to sit down in my seat. And as I sat down, my stomach began to churn a little bit. And I realized that I was having a crisis of confidence in whether or not she could fly the 757 from Dallas-Fort Worth to Fort Lauderdale. I even for a moment contemplated taking a flight the next day. Now I'm happy to report that I stayed on the plane and she did, of course, get me home safely. However, what it made me look at was what was the message, not just, oh, Helen, come on, you do this work. You shouldn't have felt that way about a woman doing her job. The truth is that I had a mental model of dominance. I had a mental model driven by my unconscious bias that the only people who were competent to fly that plane were tall, white men with silver gray hair who looked like they had come from the military, the Air Force or the Navy, and they were competent to fly the plane. And in that moment, that evening in Dallas-Fort Worth, I was not sure that she was. So all of us have unconscious biases. All of us have blind spots. These unconscious biases are never going to go away. Unconscious bias has become a trending topic in our industry. However, the issue is that we can't just teach people about their unconscious biases. We have to help them to see how they apply and how they're affecting your day-to-day -day business decisions and your day-to-day -day decisions about who you hire, who you work with, and who you're comfortable being around. So unconscious bias is an immutable force. The other immutable force is dominance. The issue of dominance is always going to be a dominant culture. What has not been fully understood, perhaps until recently, is that who is in the dominant culture group may change. So if you think about the world demographics, demographics are shifting in America. Uh, people of color, increasing numbers of Asian, increasing numbers of Latino, Hispanic, and a diminishing number of white people. Now, these demographics shift and the issue of dominance begins to shift, but the issue of dominance itself is never going to go away. There's always going to be dominant cultures and subcultures, whether we're talking sexual orientation, age, religion, race, culture, gender, or indeed any other other topic, functional groups. There are groups in your organization that are dominant. Now, the third immutable force is the issue of what I call degrees of difference. That within each of these groups that I mentioned, there's diversity. So if you talk, for example, about a functional group like engineers, you can't just say engineers and capture everything that you mean by that, because there are mechanical engineers, there are electrical engineers, there are male engineers, engineers, female engineers, there are engineers who are outgoing and engineers who are introverted. And so we have to look again along the horizontal axis. So there are degrees of difference within every single group. And we can't just put one, one label on them and assume that we think we know what we mean. So again, the immutable forces of inclusion that need to be addressed, need to be understood, but are never going to go away are number one one, dominance, number two, unconscious bias, and number three, degrees of difference. And we'll be exploring each of these in future videos.